Hey everyone, welcome to part 8 of this Godot beginner tutorial series where we are building a Godot uh, endless runner game in the Godot engine. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit the notification bell to get updates in future of any new tutorials in this series. So in this tutorial we're going to look at how we can do movement of our objects and we're going to set up our barrel and bone object. So let's uh, start off with uh, just setting up our objects. So in our barrel scene, we're going to right click and we're going to add a child node and we are going to search for sprite. And in the sprite, uh, we have this texture slot and we will drag in our sprite. So this is the barrel. So that's an obstacle. We'll drag that in and uh, let's just resize this down slightly so hold in shift and bring this down and just move this back to the center so save that and let's do the exact same with our bone so open the bone scene if you don't have it open here then you can go down to scenes and you can go down to items and double click on bone.tsen so once you're there right click on the bone and add child node and again a sprite and then we're going to go over to assets items and drag in the bone into the texture slot again it's too big so hold shift and resize it down something like that and then just add it to the center like that next we need to start creating a movement script to allow these to move because they will now spawn in our scene because we've previously set up this spawner uh, scene which will spawn these objects for us so to create the movement script uh, we want to actually decouple this uh, from our barrel and our bone we want to make it a single responsibility to just do movement for us so to do that, we're going to go over to the scripts folder. We'll right click here and we will create a new script and call it scroll movement. Open that up and we can get rid of all of this except for this extends. So our bone and barrel extends uh, node 2D. So we want to have a node 2D in the end so for our scroll movement we will extend node 2d and it's also we want this movement to be able to affect node 2ds as well so that's why we are extending node 2d then very simply we are going to create an export variable which is going to go and allow us to just set the speed of this thing so we'll create export var scroll speed and we'll just start off with 6.3 because i've tested this in the reference project but this might have to change because of the scale of our assets they might differ from the reference project and then we simply need a move function so we'll declare a move function and this move function will just manipulate the position on the x axis and subtract the scroll speed from the x so save that off and now we can start using this in our barrel and bone script so in the barrel we're going to get rid of all of this code and instead of node 2d we will extend scroll movement so put this in quotes because it is a, a self-defined class so scroll movement dot gd and now we can simply use this so let's declare the physics process function and then we'll just call move to move our object so as simple as that we'll just copy this to our bone as well so replace everything in there and now we can play this to see what this looks like so hit play so you see it is now spawning these items i think they're about the right size uh, they're just in the wrong position so let's uh, move our spawner to a position where it makes sense so we need to move it down so this might need a bit of adjustment move it down to somewhere about here see what that looks like first see if it lines up with your floor it doesn't so we want to actually bring it down further so about there somewhere 
the bone seems sort of all right uh, we can move it up a little bit make it a bit more centered okay can move down a little so it takes a little bit of adjustment just to get it right and play again and let's see what this looks like i think that looks almost realistic just a little bit down too much maybe like this i think that's more or less right let's try this again because i see it had a right error so okay i want to go down slightly so i'm going to zoom to make this a bit more precise and bring it down maybe a smidge like that and then hit play I think that looks more realistic. We can adjust this scroll speed so that it matches our actual background or our foreground over here. So the 6.3 seems a bit quick. So to adjust that, we can then uh, just go into our barrel scene over here. And uh, just have a look over here, 6.3. We maybe want to make this a little slower. so. Let's go down to let's say 5.8 and uh, let's just make sure this is something you have to make sure of is that you're not affecting uh, all of your uh, elements or your objects so you can see we don't because we are inheriting it from another script so we'll make them all 5.8 but you can make them now scroll at different speeds if you like so I run this see what it looks like it's still a little bit quick uh, maybe five is what we want let's test that so yeah it takes a bit of adjustment to get this right so just a bit of trial and error uh, well, i think that's closer to what it should be still a little quick uh, let's make it 4.7 and so we'll just play around with it until we eventually get what we think looks good. Right, so I'm going to leave it at this now. Hopefully it's more or less right. So it's about there. You can go and adjust yours to make it look right. And now what we need to do is just move this spawner off screen so that it doesn't affect anything. So you can use control to keep it on that same level. Now it's off screen, so now it should spawn and move onto the screen like this. All right, so I think uh, this may be a little up, and then that should be it for this movement. Uh, I think it's still a bit low. So yeah, just play around with it, get it into the position you want it, and then that's basically how you spawn and move your objects in your game just to start off with so now we don't have any collections or pickups or damage uh, being inflicted so that's something we'll start covering in the next tutorial so guys that's the end of uh, part eight so if you like this tutorial please like below and if you have any questions just uh, leave them in the comment section and i'd be happy to answer any questions so thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.